In a landmark moment for naval aviation, China's People's Liberation Army Navy has unveiled its first two operational J-35 carrier-based fighters. Each aircraft bears a distinctive, shark, tail marking, signaling a new chapter in naval air power. Today, we explore how these developments reshape carrier aviation, maritime deterrence, and the global balance of power. The People's Liberation Army Navy first introduced the J-35 concept as its next-generation carrier fighter intended to complement eventually succeed its existing fleet of J-15 aircraft. Designed for catapult launches and precision strike missions, the J-35 incorporates advanced stealth shaping, powerful engines, and a modern sensor suite. Its debut comes as China commissions the Type 003 Fujian, its largest and most capable aircraft carrier to date. Together, they promise to extend China's power projection across the Western Pacific. The shark marking on the J-35's vertical tail is more than an aesthetic choice. It reflects a long-standing naval aviation tradition of fierce predator imagery meant to boost unit pride and signal operational aggression. Beyond symbolism, the marking underlines the fighter's intended role as a maritime hunter, intercepting hostile jets, launching anti-ship missiles, and safeguarding carrier strike groups. Under the fuselage and wings, the J-35 carries internal weapon bays to preserve stealth characteristics, housing air-to-air -air missiles and precision-guided bombs. A radar-absorbent coating complements its composite airframe, reducing its radar signature against enemy sensors. The cockpit features a panoramic touchscreen display and advanced helmet-mounted queuing, enabling rapid target acquisition. Powered by twin afterburning turbofan engines, the fighter achieves supersonic dash speeds and high climb rates. This blend of stealth, speed, and sensor fusion positions the J-35 among the most capable carrier-borne fighters in modern naval aviation. The induction of the J-35 coincides with final trials aboard the Type 003 Fujian, China's first carrier equipped with electromagnetic catapults. These catapults will allow heavier payloads and reduced stress on airframes compared to traditional steam-driven systems. Early reports suggest deck crew training for J-35 launch and recovery is proceeding smoothly, with angled deck landings demonstrating the fighter's robust arrestor hook and landing gear. By integrating fighter and carrier development, the People's Liberation Army Navy aims to field a seamless carrier strike capability by year's end. With the J-35 and Type 03 Fujian operational, China will field its most advanced carrier strike group yet. This enhances its ability to patrol the East China Sea, deter regional adversaries, and support overseas operations. In a broader context, such capability compels neighboring navies to adapt tactics, invest in shipborne air defenses, and expand their own carrier programs. The accelerated pace of China's carrier aviation modernization underscores the shifting balance in Asia's naval competition and prompts fresh dialogue on maritime security. As these platforms enter service, they will redefine carrier aviation in the 21st century. If you found this analysis of modern naval capabilities useful, subscribe for in-depth updates on global military technology and leave your thoughts below on what you expect next in carrier warfare.